What's up everyone, Wizard Ken here with another Xbox 360 World of Tanks video. Now today is a very special video because we finally made it. We made it to the tier 10 British tank destroyer, the FV215B183. Uh, now I've gotten to play with this a little bit. I spent all day trying to work up for it and I finally got it. Uh, and then I played with it a little bit today just to, you know, try to get more of a feel for it. Um, this thing is pretty, it can be a pretty badass tank. I've gone into matches and done 7 plus K of damage. I mean, it's, it's, it's nasty tank if, um, you know, all the elements are there. Of course, your team and the maps and stuff like that. But, um, you know, it can be a very, very deadly tank. It's got a nasty gun on it. But, with the good things, there are also some drawbacks to this tank. And we will talk about that uh, very shortly. Now, this thing has 2,000 health or hit points, and which is nice because, you know, unless you're going against T110s, which will, you will face, or, you know, some of the E100s and stuff like that, it can actually take a little bit of a beating. Now, it, it, like I said, it is a uh, tank destroyer, so it can't take an amazing beating like, you know, most heavies and stuff like that can. Um, it doesn't have the most angled armor and stuff, but it can still take um, a little bit of a beating. Now, the thing that makes it kind of shitty is like the whole armor is 152 in the front, 50 on the sides, and 76 in the back. Um, the nice thing is the turret is uh, has 254 armor in the front, 101 in the sides, and 76 in the back. Uh, this thing can get a top speed of about 34 kilometers. Um, an hour so it's not a slow tank it moves pretty nicely um, it's got a view range of 400 meters uh, a little bit less than the waffle um, the waffle charger e100 and and if you look at this this kind of is designed kind of like the waffle or off of the e100 chassis but it has the um, you know it doesn't have the same turret on the top so uh, there are some differences but um, it, it kind of reminds me of the the Waffentrager E100. So, anyways, let's get, let's get straight into like we always do, talking about the weak spots uh, on this tank and what to look for if you're going against it, and what to watch out if you are uh, using this tank. Now, like I said, this thing can be a badass, but there are some pretty major weak spots. Like, of course, for instance, the lower plate is. Uh, one of those spots that you really want to look for when you're playing or going against this tank uh, Now if you move up just a little bit you can see where there's like a little trailer hitch and there's two headlights in the front now the headlight on the left is uh, Where the driver sits you can see that there's a little viewport right above the the headlight And if you hit there with the HE round or if you got enough um, penetration with your armor piercing uh, you can knock out the driver. I would say HE round because HE rounds usually uh, do more Have a better chance for you know knocking somebody out. So Now if you look up here It's it's kind of like the hood of a, a car uh, We'll call it the hood of the tank right now. That is a very 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 weak spot uh, For anybody sitting on top of a mountainside or for Artie. So uh, if you're Artie, I would suggest highly uh, shooting this part of the tank especially since it's the most exposed part um, now if you look at the turret you see these two round cylinders on each side um, you know actually it's one cylinder but you see two round um, you know like pins sitting on the side um, that actually holds up the barrel and allows the barrel to uh, you know adjust itself up and down uh, if you look directly where they're actually sitting, um, let me get to the other side because it's a little bit more brighter on this side uh, from the welder in the background. Anyways, you can see it kind of looks like an arrow shape that it's sitting in. And then also there's a, another connected arrow piece. And I will have pictures of this so you guys can see this a little bit better um, and see what I'm talking about. Those are weak spots also on the tank, um, on the turret in the sense of the front part of this tank. And I would highly suggest shooting those spots, especially with HE rounds, because you're going to knock out the gun. Um, and this tank really 
cannot do without its gun. It's it's already got a 30 second reload pretty much uh, on this on this barrel. So hitting there and disabling the gun could really really screw up um, the part of this tank you know that he relies on the most. I've already been shot there a couple of times and taking out my you know my gun has been uh, one of the things that pissed me off the most. <laughs> Now looking at the side, we're going to start with the whole of the body and then go up to the turret. So um, starting on where we were talking the hood of the car, now if you follow that just down where it kind of, you know, kind of like a rectangle shape before you actually get to the uh, plating that protects the track, right there is a very weak spot. Um, the rest of this will probably just track the tank except for the very you can see like there's a toolbox right underneath there um, for a couple of squares you can actually um, hurt this very badly or catch the tank on fire that's where the engine and the fuel are stored pretty much on both sides of the tank um, right behind the um, toolbox there's like another little uh, rectangle that connects to the exhaust pipe that is also a very weak spot um, just above that you could see where we talked about the little you know canister uh, shooter like um, the flares and stuff like that just left of that right where this kind of exhaust pipe kind of looking thing coming out of the turret uh, right there on the side of the turret is a very bad spot to hit because that's where like you know commanders and stuff like that sit. you can hurt somebody the gunner anybody like that with an HE round right there also where the rope is or the um, the metal rope is you can uh, smack it there and also can you know ammo rack it and stuff like that now looking at the backside not much to say here except that this is open for everybody to shoot at uh, this is very weak spots the engines in the back so a good chance of knocking out the engine and stopping um, people from being able to do stuff so also on this side the same exact thing as the other side like we said um, either side of the toolbox where those rectangles are um, of course right underneath the toolbox uh, the fuel and uh, engine so there's a couple of spots you can hit um, I don't know why I said the engines in the back the engines in the side um, are actually directly in the middle of the tank um, <laughs> so shooting in the back is not going to take out the engine. I don't know why I said that, but uh, I, I was just thinking German tank for some fucking reason. <laughs> I, I'm telling you, this thing reminds me of the E100. Seriously, the Waffentrager. Um, so anyways, let's take a look at the, um, the equipment I'm using. Also, the barrel and stuff like that. And some of the other things that kind of make this tank good and also can make it bad. So, of course, let's go to packages. Of course, there's no packages to really unlock, but we can at least talk about uh, the damage and stuff like that. So, um, you can only fire two rounds a minute. So, of course, like I said, 30 seconds, um, which kind of sucks. The aiming time is 3.40, and that kind of sucks compared to the Waffentrager um, E100. It to be honest with you on a one-on-one -on -one battle the waffle's gonna win pretty much every time I usually takes me about three maybe four shots to take this tank out uh, and then you know I usually have you know either three or two rounds left over to you know take on another tank so don't try to take on a waffle E100 one-on-one uh, -on -one. now if you have HE rounds possibly um, you could do you know, a one-shotter on the, um, the Waffentrager E100, but you're risking it. <laughs> so, uh, unless you are covered and stuff like that, then I wouldn't do a one-on-one. -on -one. Anyways, so, let's talk about the penetration. Now, if you're using the uh, armor-piercing rounds, you're going to do about 310 in the sense of penetration. Not bad. Um, and then you're going to do anywhere between 1,150... And a little bit more than that um, now the uh, gold rounds we usually don't talk about the gold rounds and the HE rounds because I usually just stay with the armor piercing but I'm going to talk about these because it's very interesting with this tank 
and how you might you know go about it now of course the gold rounds are going to do uh, pretty good that you know um, I know it says 275 pen but we're going to discuss that a little bit more once we go look at the actually consumables and stuff like that uh, it does a pretty decent amount of damage too, 1750 and these are like the minimum damage pretty much you can do a little bit more than that um, I mean you can roll even lower than that you can roll like only 900 damage but basically they're saying that you could stay around a uh, thousand seven hundred fifty and then of course the HD rounds is only 92 pen and a one thousand seven hundred fifty on up and we'll talk about that in the consumables so um, and we've gone over the turret armor now the turret speed isn't bad uh, the main thing on this one is like I said the aiming time is kind of shitty on this so and uh, no you cannot you know do a complete 360 on this this is kind of like um, you know, like the tortoise where you have a view range left and right but it's a pretty nice view range side to side I can't remember the actual you know uh, degrees you can go but it's pretty much almost all the way turned sideways to the left and almost all the way turned sideways to the right um, you know basically where those slanted armors are on the left and right side uh, kind of where those little um, little strap hinges are sticking out is as far as you can turn left and right with the turret uh, eventually then you'd have to move the whole tank so uh, crew I don't have anything amazing on there and first of all I'm just going for a six cents first and then I'll do some other things um, consumable so consumables now when you first buy this tank uh, they give you two armor piercing rounds and then uh, 10 high explosive rounds the HE regular HE um, and I was just like you know what fuck that you know I do 863 damage uh, with the armor piercing all the way up to 1438 so I was like fuck I'm gonna do that because it's got better penetration 233 to 388 sounds good right wrong I went into a game trying to play with that and sometimes it would work where you know I'm doing like a thousand damage every hit 800 damage stuff like that but it wasn't consistent because I was ricocheting here and there uh, you know the way um, you know you still have a nasty bubble even if it's zoomed in all the way that you could miss left or right it's not like the Walton Targa E100 where you have a limited spot where you're gonna miss like you've got a really good chance of hitting uh, and stuff like that um, and with a 30 second reload that was pissing me off because I'm like fuck I just shot at this person they have 30 seconds to tear my ass up and that's what was happening so I decided well you know what the game um, you know gave me a whole bunch of HE rounds I might as well try that well I went down to the normal HE rounds and unless I actually missed the tank I was actually hitting uh, you know hurting every single tank I hit because of course it's HE rounds it's explosive um, and I was doing anywhere between 600 on a very very low roll all the way up to uh, the most I've seen is 1300 at the moment um, I, it's just because I haven't had a chance to really fire at tanks on their weakest spots um, and it's been nasty I, I went from only doing you know maybe 1,000 or 2,000 damage a game with the armor piercing to anywhere between 2,000 to 7,000 uh, depending on how well my team played out and stuff like that but on good games I usually did a lot of fucking damage uh, the also the other thing you need to look at too is look at the price difference this is not a money-making tank uh, unless you just get amazing matches I mean if you lose I lose money even if I win if I don't do enough damage to people if I don't do enough in the game I lose money this is not a silver builder this is just purely um, you know go out and demolish people at, at the cost of silver um, you know I mean you can make silver on it like I said but you've got to do your weight in the battle you can't just sit there and only do like two damage you know or like two shots on somebody and expect to make a good amount of money you're gonna waste a lot I think um, you know what was the amount I paid the other day like 30,000 or something like that and I think I still came out negative um, 1,200 or negative 2,300 so this can be a very expensive tank but like I said just 
you know, figure out which rounds work for you. Uh, me personally, the HE rounds work better. When on most of my tanks, the, the armor piercing are better. I mean, on the Waffle Trog E100, I love the armor piercing because I seem to do a lot more, a lot better with that. But with the HE rounds with this one, you're guaranteed to do a pretty good amount of damage. Um, of course, I got the small repair kit, uh, small first aid kit, and manual fire extinguisher. Equipment right now, because I spent all my damn money buying this damn tank, uh, I had to sell a couple tanks. Um, I did buy the large caliber tank gun rammer, which is very nice to have. Um, now, I'm going to buy possibly the camo net, but with the size barrel on this tank, uh, once you shoot even behind cover, you're going to be exposed. Um, it's a very nasty tank in the sense of its camo and stuff like that. Not bad, but it still can be nasty. Uh, so I might put the toolbox on here and then also the gun laying drive uh, as my last one. Um, I did customize it, like I said, on all my tier 10s. Um, I'm going to paint them all. So, of course, I did all the different camo schemes uh, for the different, uh, you know, summer, uh, desert, and winter. So, oh, <laughs> this tank was a lot to go over. But, you know what, I, I'm going to do... A lot more videos using this tank so you guys can see it but of course right now we're gonna jump into a battle and just show off the tank a little bit we're gonna do another video exclusively of just this tank just like we've done with the other ones just so we could show off the pure power of this thing and also the pros and cons of this thing so uh, we might have good battles we might have bad battles today has been kind of a shit day but not terrible so let's see what happens Alrighty guys, we're in Arctic region, uh, standard battle. Now this isn't a terrible map for me, I actually do like this map. Um, I played this earlier and I got my ass kicked, but not terribly though. Now I'm going to show you guys something I, I learned the other day, uh, just fucking around. Because some matches I'm like, okay I'm going to die, uh, I'm going to try to find you know some secret spots that nobody really, really knows about. Um, and this is actually a nice little spot because... Uh, the advantage points that I get with this and uh, there's not really any kind of camoing up there there's no real bushes or um, trees now remember trees do give you camo but it's usually it, trees are only defined as camo if somebody's looking from a mountainside down to you um, they're not defined as you know blocking somebody that's in front of you so just remember if you're behind a tree, it doesn't work as like regular, regular camo, stuff like that. Now let's see if I can make it up here without uh, Rory's help, because earlier today I was having a difficult time trying to get up here, um, but I think I was just not angling myself up. So memorize how I'm getting up here, guys, uh, because there's no other way of doing this. Now this might seem, oh well this is crappy, you're not going to be involved in the battle. Wrong. You can see where these guys are in front of me. Now, they're going to spot the people coming around the corner eventually, if there's people that come around that way. And the nice thing is, once I get to my spot... Oop, there's somebody. You know, we're going to stop for a second. And this... Okay, he's going to go down, of course. Now, once I get to my spot, no one's going to see me until they start really pulling up this way. But if anybody comes around that corner, I'm going to be able to shoot them and then keep shooting at them. And then also, I get to cover that side. As soon as they come up that hill, uh, down here, right here, I'm going to be able to shoot this area easily. Uh, and if they come into the middle, I could shoot down here too. So, but apparently, nobody is coming around the corner. They all came the other way. Um, there are a lot of people over there. So, I'm going to stay back just because I know eventually my team's going to fail at holding this line up here because Waffle E100, God knows why he's down there like a dumbass. I mean, he's not a person you want to have down there. Uh, the Object 704, I don't see why he's really there either. He's still an easy target to uh, shoot up. And then also the T110, he can kind of handle his own. He usually can. Now, as I was saying, you have perfect view of everything. Oh, oh, yes, yes. Yes, yes. Oh, <laughs> that's what I mean. The you know the aiming time is terrible 
with this tank. Oh, I should have shot further back. That was my bad. Um, that was a terrible, terrible try on that part. But it's okay. They should still be there by the time I reload. It looks like they're going to stay there for a little bit. Um, i probably just keep backing up. Um, and that's it. But I should be able to hit these guys. Now, he's kind of worried about getting shot in the side. Maybe. Maybe. If we get a chance. Yes. So, we did 500 damage. Of course, the tortoise, uh, that's not his weakest spot right there. Um, so, kind of kind of sucked shooting him but hey at least we did 500 damage uh, with the HE round we didn't have to really care where we were aiming like I said it is nice when you can hit somebody in a really good spot like the side or something like that with this HE round because it can devastate some people but you know if I was trying to use the armor piercing rounds I wouldn't have been able to hurt them uh, really right there I might have but it's no guarantee now we're gonna try Oh yeah, 779. Um, like I said, it's not, you know, if I could have hit them with the AP, you know, or piercing, I might have done more damage, but it's a, you know, 50-50 draw because the guy is moving, and at least with the HE, no matter where I hit him, I have a good chance of knocking the crap out of him. Now this is what I'm talking about, this right here. Now these guys haven't seen me yet, and this is going to be great if I can hit this guy and it's oh 1203 damage nasty <laughs> now I don't know if an already helped me with that one or not but all I gotta say is that was still a nasty hit now we're just gonna move out here a little bit now these guys have not spotted me yet I mean that waffle was right out there not able to see me oh is this guy gonna stay here Boop. 778 he's almost dead now if I can hold this off and hopefully people can come back and help me defend the base we might be able to win this this could be a very close game um, if we could hold this down I I'm trying to save my arty as much as possible but they do have other arty uh, that is going to be yes all right oh there goes my line of sight. Damn. Now, I've only got six shots left. I've got to be precise. Um, I'm surprised that guy kind of went invisible. But, of course, um, I, as I'm looking, as, as I'm saying that, uh, I realize that I'm only, um, I have 421 meters where my line of sight is only um, 400. So, hello, buddy. I know, I know. 700 out of them. Nice. Now, the other thing too, guys, you can run away very easily with this tank from up there. So, you've got a lot of different ways to go. I've gone off those rocks and jumped it. Did just fine. So, I'm still getting spotted by somebody. Um, I would like to know who, to be honest with you. T30. Son of a bitch. Fucking T30. You're gonna die. Just so you know. Oh, come on. Oh. I, You know what? I still love it because I'm still doing a lot of damage. I'm happy about what I'm doing. I'm just keeping. I have to keep moving. That's why. Uh, that's the one reason why I have to keep moving. There's too much bullshit from Artie. Um, and if I can help this guy out with this guy, awesome. And he's going to go hide. Now, what I'm going to... Oh, fuck. I didn't think my buddy was gone. Oh, fuck. Me. Eat shit, at least. <laughs> I didn't realize my buddy got killed by Artie. That sucks. Uh, oh, the T-30 didn't give me the M-53 did. I just realized that. Alrighty, guys. Well, we didn't lose money this time because we actually did a lot of damage. Um, 5,000. Uh, I used... Nine rounds, eight of them did direct hits, and eight of them did penetration. So, um, yeah, I mean, not uh, not a bad round. If we would have had the other one hit, we would have been nine for nine. Not bad at all. Um, like I said, it's got some benefits of the tank. Uh, 
but there are some bad things too. I mean, we showed on this map, there was a lot of benefits to it. Um, but you could also see too, I was getting low on ammo. Like, after doing the nine shots, you know, uh, I only had a little bit left. So that kind of fucked me on, uh, you know, what I could do. So bear in mind when you're playing with this tank that it can be very, very uh, unforgiving if you don't take your time to take your shots because every bullet counts. It's just like Artie. I've been in Artie bat matches where I've used all my rounds up and there's only two tanks left and they're usually Artie or maybe a heavy tank and an Artie and me and Bubba are sitting there like, uh, what are we going to do? We have no rounds left. So we have to basically just go ram somebody, hope for the best and um, pretty much lose the battle because we use too many of our rounds when you know playing the game and we didn't really try our best to shoot something now already is a little bit harder to be more accurate but with this tank take your time guys uh, line up your shots uh, don't do like I did and just rush the E100 shot um, especially from that distance just take your time and do what you can uh, hopefully you guys like that spot on the Arctic region that I showed you guys uh, it's a really really awesome spot I'm glad I found it um, you know try using it now I don't use my heavy tanks up there but I do use all my tank destroyers and even my arty um, it just allows me a little bit more range and stuff like that and different varieties and stuff so anyways guys I'm Wizard Ken until next time see ya <laughs>